What is up, you guys? Check this out. This is the Oren from The Never Ending Story. Uh, the movie called The Never Ending Story. It was kind of creepy when I was a kid. But this is a replica uh, Oren from The Never Ending Story that I got on eBay in 2018 for around $189. It's an awesome looking replica Oren, it's gold plating. Gold plated pewter. There's only one person that makes this, and he makes them for San Diego Comic Cons. Um, and he sells them on eBay. They used to be a butt, uh, butt belt, a belt buckle. See, it, it, like the, the, um, the back is like all sawed off. Because it had these things on it for a belt buckle. And then they just made it into a pendant. It's backwards on my screen, but when I post this, it'll be there. You'll see it as the right way. Since my camera likes to flip flop my face around. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's about three inches. It's awesome. It's the most beautiful Oren replica out there. And you, you they're barely ever on eBay, so... I had two of them in the past, so very rare, very awesome. All right, that being said and out of the way, uh, important video. Unfortunately, the people that are uh, unsaved, if you're saved but have people who are unsaved that are friends or family, they are not going to be in heaven with you. Unfortunately, they will be in hell and then ultimately the lake of fire. But um, where I'm getting at is some people think that God will make clones of people, of our loved ones and friends and family in heaven when the real people, the real ones are in hell. But they're, they have, they're clones that God would make that have the same memories and everything like that. So they're basically the same exact person while the real original one is burning in hell forever. There's nothing in the Bible that supports that at all. That's just a theory that people have. And I will tell you right now, that would be deceiving of God to do because we would believe that they would really be with us in heaven when the real ones would be actually in hell burning forever. So, um, no, God has a better thing in mind to do. God is going to wipe away our memories, our tears, and our memories of the people that we were friends with and family members with and lovers with on the earth so that we don't remember them throughout all eternity. They will remember us in hell, but they are forgotten in hell. We won't have any memory of them um, because how can we live in heaven, enjoy heaven, and eternity with God when we are constantly thinking about our loved ones and knowing that they're in hell forever. There would be no way that we could be happy um, knowing that. So God will cleanse our minds, uh, detox our minds. Best way to just, I guess, say it is erase our memories of all the people who are unsaved and go to hell. Um, he's not going to make clones or replicas of people and have them in heaven making us believe that there are real siblings, family, lovers, friends. Again, that would be deceiving of God to do. And God is not the deceiver. The devil is the deceiver. God is truth. The devil is a liar. That would be something for the devil to do. But since the devil is not allowed in heaven, he can't make replicas of our friends and loved ones that are in hell, making us believe that they're the real ones in heaven with us. No. They will only be, the only forms of them will be with the devil in hell if they're unsaved. So I just want 
to cover this video, if you've had people, or even if you've thought this before, I thought this before, and then I was like, nah, that, that, that's contrary to God. That's contrary to who God is. God wouldn't do that because that would be deceiving. So, um, I just wanted to cover this topic and say it's completely unbiblical. There's only one version of us, and that's us right here and now. Um, so, even in, in the afterlife, the same version, it, it will be the same version of us. When we're in our soul forms, we're enlightened, we're, um, more, a more clear version of us. So, you know, in your soul form, this, your soul that's in here, this right here you're seeing on the outside is not your true self. This right here that I'm, you're seeing is just the shell. My true self is in here, but I can't access, I, I, you can access some parts of your soul because memories you have, you have here on earth will also be in heaven with you, not the bad ones, but the good ones. So how could they stay with you if they're not connected to your soul? Um, so, um, you're an enhanced, that's what I was trying to, uh, say. You're an enhanced version of yourself in your soul form. Enhanced, without blemish, without stain, without sin. No death, no disease, no sickness, no nothing. No pain, no suffering. Oh, if you're in heaven, that is. In hell? Yeah, obviously. But, um... You're in an enhanced version of yourself in your soul form. Like, um, a multiplied version of yourself, but you have, like, superhuman intelligence and stuff. Like, things you can't understand when you're in this body because our brain in this body is limited. But when we're in our soul forms, it will still be limited, but it will have more, a lot more limitations. In our soul form, um, unlimited, elimination, unlimitation, sorry. It, but in our soul form, I've uh, heard people in near-death experiences say, um, testimonies say that they were able to access, you know, in that movie, um, what is it, Bradley Cooper, um, the one where he takes the drugs and... He uh, he gets to access 100% of his mind. Oh, what is that called? He's able to access 100% of his mind, of his brain, cap uh, brain capacity. I can't think of the movie. Wow. It's such an easy name to remember, and I can't remember the movie name. But, uh... <laughs> You know exactly what I'm talking about, but that's in your soul form. You are you are able to access 100% of your mind. Um, you still won't know everything, but you can. You'll be able to see at a 360 degree radius. 360, a 360 degree radius, meaning you can see in front of you, the side of you, and behind you. All at the same time. I don't know how you can do that. You're in your soul form and you could do that. But you have like eyes. I, I guess you're... You don't have eyes all around you. But like... The, it's kind of like you do. And you can see all, all the stuff at once. Um, it, it's crazy. You can't... We'll be able to do things that we can't understand here. Uh, right now. Like that. You can't understand... That doesn't make sense to me. That you can see at a 360 degree radius you can't that doesn't make sense that because that's because our minds are limited and we can't comprehend that in our minds right now but in your soul form you will be able to i hope you guys enjoy this video